Hi guys, it's Chris at the Ultimate Recycler. When I pulled up to work this morning in my parking bay, was this little branch. Now, a big deal, I hear you say. Um, yep, okay, most people wouldn't look twice at it. Maybe put it in the green waste bin, maybe leave it for the council to pick up. It's only a small branch. But uh, me being me, never letting an opportunity go past, I thought, hmm, I think it's eucalyptus. It's got gum nuts. So it's got to be a eucalypt of some sort. It certainly smells like it. Um, since I don't own any koalas that are going to be hungry, I thought, well, why not try it on my worms? Uh, it's look, I don't expect it's going to be an ideal food for them, but the whole thing with my tests, are, um, I try things on them. Uh, it's not an enclosed bin. It's an open garden bed, so they'll only come and eat it if if it's attractive to them. If it's going to cause any problems, they'll um. They won't come back so i'm going to put this through my mulcher just to mulch it up small and we'll feed it to the worms there we go that didn't take long uh, it's really quite a strong eucalyptus smell now uh, you can see that most of the leaves are fairly fairly complete it broke the twigs up okay and it'll give me enough for a sample to see if the worms are going to handle it or not so we'll go and find a garden bed to put it in here's a suitable spot i just dug through um, i like to dig through my beds with a gut digging fork every so often because look at all these fibrous plant roots um, i don't have any trees nearby uh, but they're obviously sending fibrous roots from somewhere because they recognize how fertile the soil is becoming this used to be clay, and now it's beautiful, friable soil, lots of worm castings. It's dried out a little bit here, so I'll, um, I'll dampen it down a bit. I did see a few worms when I dug through. There wasn't many, but there was a few. So it'll be interesting to see how this test goes. If I add all these eucalyptus leaves, that'll give a pretty good sample. Um, they have dried out a little bit. It was lying on the road this morning, as I said, and it's been sitting out here most of the day. But uh, there's still a bit of moisture, and I'll, I'll dampen it down, and uh, we'll leave it for a little while. I would imagine it's going to take a while before the worms are interested, but it'll just be interesting to see how long it takes them, whether they do come back and eat it, and um, we'll keep an eye on it. I'll probably check it in a week or so. We'll give you an update then. Okay, 10 days have passed. Let's see if the worms have any interest in this eucalyptus. Oh, yeah. They have. Now, that's a little bit surprising. I thought it might have been not so uh, agreeable with the worms. But they have certainly come back. Remembering that there was hardly any worms here when we first checked. There's quite a lot underneath. So that's good. That's good. Um, I'll leave this test go, see how long they take to eat it, because there's obviously a lot of leaves there. And some of the twigs, of course, will take a long time to break down. And I will be doing some tests with worms at some stage on just various timber, like uh, chipboard or plywood, and just see if they do eat it eventually as, it, as part of the, uh, the breakdown of the timber. But look, this will be a good one to keep running. Um, I'm impressed that they're back in in only about 10 days and uh, they're obviously not put off by any eucalyptus oil or anything that may be in the in the leaves. So all right we'll leave it a few weeks and we'll check back in. So it's been a further 10 days. I've been doing some filming today so let's have a check on the eucalyptus. Oh there's worms there, plenty of them. Doesn't look like much has changed since last time. I didn't bring my scratcher, sorry. I have to look at it, poke around with my fingers. Well, there's plenty of worms in there. So they're going to take a while to get through it. So we'll leave it for a good couple of weeks now and we'll check back in and just see if it's actually disappearing. Okay, let's do a final check on the eucalyptus worm test. Uh, I've left it for about six to seven weeks, almost two months, I guess. Um, and I've had, had a few looks and there hasn't been much happening, so that's why I haven't reported. 
Now, the worms came in initially and uh, they've kind of disappeared. I think they've eaten a little bit, but in reality, I think, well, part of the reason is it's actually got cold here now. We've been getting quite a lot of frosts, so I guess that's slowed up the worm activity uh, because all my tests have slowed up a little bit at the moment. Um, so I would suggest that it's not good worm food because it's very woody. There's a high lignin content, which isn't favourable for the worms. Uh, it's going to break down eventually, but it will take quite some time. Um, so it's it's not good worm food. Uh, it certainly didn't do them any harm. And as you saw, they came back in uh, relatively soon after I put it down. So there's no issues with toxicity. There's no issues with the eucalyptus oil. Uh, I have read that eucalyptus leaves, even in your compost, can be toxic. But I'm sure there's no issues in small quantities. And I'd suggest that mulching this and throwing it in the compost would be the best. Um, certainly don't put them in a, a small worm farm. It's not going to do you any good. But the test was to see if they had a go at it. And they kind of did for a little bit. And, um, you know, it's it's not going to be on the list of things to feed the worms. So I'd suggest mulch it up like I did. Put it in your compost bin. It'll break down, become nice uh, garden compost eventually. So there you go, that test ticked off. Not a roaring success, but we've done it. Um, if you're following my channel for my worm tests, they've been a bit slow at the moment, as I said, because it's been cold. But I've got a few longer term tests on the go that I'll be checking in shortly, so keep an eye on things. And uh, there you go, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.